Who would have ever thought I'd be sitting in the cancer ward at Sloan Kettering with my best friend, business partner, and romantic partner? She's only 39 years old. Well, life happens and then it doesn't. So you better enjoy every single moment, no matter how heavy the weight is and you think it's too heavy to carry. Because right now, an ocean is pouring out of my face. Fortitude is my coral reef. It's a buffer and a buttress. So I think to myself, we will have each other forever. I'm literally and figuratively confused by all the conflicts, the cons and the pros. We struggle, but we're blessed. Things could have been worse. I try to connect and fuse the disparate ideas, nature, nurture, and how we'll never understand the interwoven internal and external dialectic. We do so much to live and stay alive. We're willing to kill, we eat meat. We're simultaneously self-destructive. So maybe there's no meaning, but then why have cognition? What's the purpose of knowing you're alive if life doesn't matter? So it has to matter even if it's only to me. I have to center myself in knowing that I'm one of many possible expressions of energy. I am that which I am, what I have been, and what I will be. Whether it's in this physical form or another, it's all a state of mind, and the mind in a state of flux between liquid, solid, atomic, quantum, force, speed, mass, gravity, velocity. And me watching the cycle of growth move so fast that time slows down. The same second a child is born and cries for the first time, a family member takes her last breath. And all is well with the balance of the universe. But not me. I'm not well. I'm not balanced. I've never been balanced. The chemicals in my brain stay volatile. Is it ADHD? Am I bipolar? Am I obsessive compulsive? Maybe I'm just dedicated, detailed, and understimulated in most environments. So I seek the trouble to try to solve the puzzle. And maybe right now I'm just distracting myself from where I am and why I'm here. I look up at the TV and I think to myself, why am I watching this idiot box? I can't believe the papers. I can't believe TV. Most of this is propaganda. No matter which stance I take, somebody will say it's either hate or violence. On one side, people say that abortion is murder of a baby. On another side, people say the state and men are being violent towards women and negating autonomy. It's like, I don't know how to relate to anybody ever. And I remember I'm just distracting myself from where I am and why I'm here. And I look at this woman that I love and I start crying again. And I think how people have been saying, you know, she doesn't deserve it. And I think, well, who does deserve it? The eight-year-old girl down the hallway? That girl's parents? I'm so frustrated with how little I can do and not knowing what to do or how to do it. But what I do know, what I do know is that I love this woman lying in the hospital bed recovering. She is a survivor, she is strong, and I will love her forever.